Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Hey, I told you about Christmas, right? You said we celebrate Christmas? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Okay, according to the Bible, do you think Christ celebrated Christmas? No. You say no, right? So why do you celebrate Christmas? And you say you believe in Christ. Okay, hold on. You say you, you, say you celebrate it, and you're saying you don't celebrate it. So next Friday, what you gonna do next Friday? You're not gonna sing no gifts. You're not gonna you're not gonna recognize that day as Christ's born day. You're not gonna celebrate it. Okay, but you you recognize that day. Now you know the ones that did this to us came up with that day. The ones that did to us this this to us right here. See how they got that black man burning right there? They all the white people standing around him. You know they made that day up? They made that day up. It's not in the Bible. Go to uh, go to um, what Christ celebrated in John 10, 22. We're going to see what Christ celebrated. That's what the brother was talking to you about. We say we're Christians, right? We say we believe in Christ, right? So should we celebrate the day that he celebrated? When it comes to when it comes to a special day in the winter time. Shouldn't we celebrate the same day that he calls special in the winter time? We would agree with that, right? Let's see what the Bible says, what he celebrated during, in the winter, in that season. Because Christmas time is the winter season, right? Let's see what Christ did. John 10 and 22. And it was at Jerusalem, the Feast of Dedication, and it was winter. It was what? And it was winter. Read it again. John 10 and 22, and it was at Jerusalem, the Feast of Dedication, and it was winter. The Feast of Dedication, and it was winter. Is the Feast of Dedication anything like Christmas? No, it's not. Feast of Dedication is, the word Hanukkah means dedication. What we did, we, we, we rededicated our temple back in um, the times of the Maccabees. Feast of Dedication had nothing to do with Christmas. Look, keep reading. Look at, the, look, at, look at the next verse, all right? Look at the next verse. The next verse is the key verse. And Jesus walked in the temple. And who? And Jesus walked in the temple. And Jesus walked in the temple at the Feast of Dedication. Nothing to do with Christmas. And we say with Christians, shouldn't we celebrate the things that Christ celebrated? Not Christmas, right? Now, it, well, now when it comes to Christmas, Traditionally, how you was brought up, how I was brought up. Didn't we, how most people go to have their house in here? Doesn't have nothing to do with a Christmas tree? So Christmas had nothing to do with a Christmas tree. Christmas. So, so you're telling me tra traditionally in this country, all over the world, Christmas has nothing to do with a Christmas tree? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, okay. Yes, the Bible, the Bible, the, you say the Bible say no, right? The key is, the key thing is, whatever I say, I don't believe you. How would you be able to prove that? Where? That's the, that's the information that you got to know, bro. That's the information. When somebody questions on you on why you say that's not in the Bible, you got to be able to go to it. You got to prove all things. You got to just hold that and give me prove all things. <coughs> I'm probably celebrating Christmas. Every time, every time. I got two, I got two, two cigarettes. For That's for Christmas, right? Yeah. Okay, now them cigarettes. Now we all know, don't really cause cancer. It can kill you. Right. So you're celebrating your cancer. I have your, balance. Your pre-cancer. I have my pre-cancer ability. How, are you, how can you do that? I'm 23. How can you, cele how can you celebrate yet? At, at that time, at that age too, I was thinking the same thing. Guess what? I was dead wrong, killing myself with blunts, with cigarettes, with black and miles. Hey, you, do you smoke? You smoke too? Don't you know that's killing yourself? I don't smoke. So I'm asking you, you're my brother, right? 
You my brother, right? Yes, sir. Let's fist bump. Let's fist bump. You know they got a COVID out there. You my brother, right? What's the question? I ain't thinking about that cigarette you let up either. What did you say? Why did it show fire behind him? We're gonna read it out the Bible. We're gonna read it. Y'all wanna, y'all wanna, y'all wanna, y'all gonna wait for your young brother to get, to get his, his description of Jesus? Don't go nowhere, bro. We're talking about, we're talking about Christmas. Yeah. We're talking, where you going at, bro? I'm smoking that cigarette. Let me put that cigarette out. Give me Jesus right here. Jesus? Yeah, Jesus. Give me Revelation 1. You don't see what? Well, Christ, who didn't celebrate, wait, what he looked like. All right? Hey, young man, how old are you? Come on, bro. You gonna expose his lungs to that, to that, to that cigarette smoke? He only 10 years old? You can't put it out for your brother? Can you put it out for your brother? Hey, my brother. You said, yeah. Can, yeah. You, can you put it out for your brother? Let me see if you got some respect. See, there you go, bro. You got some, you all right, bro. You got some, you got some, you got some respect for your people. Now, if you want to, if you want to destroy your body, come on, you got to do that on your own time. We're going to see what Christ looked like. I got a hint for you. What would I do, what would you do if I told you Christ looks similar to you? Do you believe me? You don't even know what to say right now. We're going to read the Bible. We're going to read. Revelation, one and one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. And what came to him. Revelation means to reveal. You hear this? All three of y'all? He's going to reveal Jesus Christ. You listen to young brother? This for you. Which God gave it to him to show unto his servant. To show to his servant. You want to show. Go to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. His head and the hairs of his face had white woolly hair. What kind of hair you got in your head? What's the texture? Notice the texture of the hair. Texture is the feel of the hair. What's the texture of your hair? Curly. Curly, right? Curl. Wouldn't that be like woolly? Woolly, yeah. right? Woolly, like a sheep. That's what woolly. He said his hair was white like wool. Now let's take a look at his brother. This, not this brother. This dude right here. Do he got woolly hair? It's straight, right? Who this supposed to be? That's who's supposed to be, right? Now this brother over here. What kind of hair he got? Woolly hair, right? With the Bible, we read the Bible about the show of Jesus Christ, right? So so far from where we read the Bible, Christ looking more the hair texture is more like him, or is it more like him? More like a black man, right? We're gonna keep reading. More like him, right? Looking like him. Him right here. This right next to you, this Dawson brother right here. We're gonna keep reading. As white as snow. And his eyes as a flame of fire. Eyes as a flame of fire. Come on, bro. You're going to got the... Did the word cut you like that? Yeah. You should be cleaving on to the word. His eyes as a flame of fire. Young brother, you listening? What happened? Don't get scared now. You're talking about Christ. <laughs> he looking more... He looking like you. You backed up when we started reading the scripture. Come back up there. Where your brothers? Where your, where your brothers? Where your brothers, man? Come on up, young brother. Where your brothers? Come on, bro, just chill, man. I know things are rough out there. I understand, I understand. We are pressed out here. Any given time, we'll snap. But we are known. You're going through it out here in these streets. We understand that. I know we're trying to bring you this healing for this word right here. Do people judge you? Why do you hate that? Judge or condemn. There's two different, it's two different things. Condemning you is one thing. Judging is a thing where I can tell you something to try to better yourself. Like right now, I'm trying to show you that Christ got hair and skin just like you. Showing you the greatness of the Saudi that you were Israelite. From the tribe of Levi. That's right. Levi is the great. Levi is Israelite, Israelites out of captivity in Egypt. That's right. You got great blood going, going through your veins. Right. You're the prince of God. That's, right. that's the way God looked at you. Right. You got hair like him, you got skin like him. All y'all do, keep reading on Christ. We're gonna keep reading. And his feet into like fine brass. His feet were like fine. What color is his feet? What color is brass? Brass is green. You turn around. What color is brass, bro? You ain't no dummy. What color is brass? Brass is blue. Okay, when they had when they had the gold medal, right? 
when they, when they have when they have the Olympics, right? You have the gold medal, the bronze medal, silver medal, right? What brass. color is that? What color is bronze? Brass, brass. What color was that? Brass. No, brass, 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 brass. brass. That's the middle. That's the middle. What I'm color? Good. What color is it? Silver. Dark. Silver. It's yeah. dark, right? Yeah, it's it's dark. dark. Brass is brown. That's right. Brown. Brown. It starts off brown when it starts erosion. That's the first stage. We're gonna keep. Let's keep. We're gonna keep reading. Keep reading. Read that part again. And his feet into like fine brass. Like brass, brown. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they burn in a furnace. Give me the part about the, the piano sticks. The piano sticks on fire. And they burn in a furnace. His feet was like brass. You listen to young man. If you take something, you burn it in a fire. What color would it be? Black, right? So his skin, his feet, his skin color was like burned brass. His hair is really like yours and his feet like burned brass. So what color is that man? A dark skinned man. That's the color of Christ. It can't be that, right? So Christ looking like more like us, darker than us. Right. You got that scripture? The next chapter one. Hey, so young man, dark skinned man, feet like burned brass. That's the color of Christ. So when you think about Jesus Christ now and you understand it, my brother right here, can't look like this. Gotta look like, gotta look like that, a dark skin man. Yeah, that's what I want. And he turned to see the voice which spake with me, and began turn, and be, and began turn, and set and saw seven golden candlesticks. All right now, he asked about why there's fire behind him. See the candlesticks. That's the vision that John was having. That's why the fire is behind him. So John seen the vision of Christ in front of. These seven golden, golden candles, the candles that you light on fire. So that's why the fire is behind him. All right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.